Greetings for fourth episode of my attempt in Gigabyte Fan Contest 2010. Today I have the first micro ATX board for the show and the only one. Uh, it's the H57M USB 3 card from Gigabyte. I've chosen this board because I actually use it as the primary of all my products from Gigabyte. Um, so first off I'm going to actually show the board and it's definitely in action because so far and for the entire period, all videos are recorded on the computer that used for this board. Here you go. The board and the HTPC. You probably can't even hear any noise from the computer because it's basically ran with an ultra low noise solution. Um, it's the HTPC, it's being used a lot, a very lot. Um, underneath there's a Clarkdale. Um, the H57 and H55 supports Clarkdale, basically all LJ1156, but the, the Clarkdale is the processor you want to use if you go for an HTPC. As you noticed, I have no additional graphic cards on the configuration. And um, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this as well. Um, the processor itself, the solution, runs everything perfect, it runs full HD, it even runs the new gimmick from, from um, YouTube with original size which is 4000x3000 without any lag or anything whatsoever. Uh, this computer is a small solution, um, it has an SSD so it boots extremely fast, it has plenty of RAM, 4GB in fact. Um, so it does every task. Uh, it's a very very cheap solution. Uh, the board is at around 115 euro, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 120 depending on where you live. Um, it has a lot of features, unlike the H55, this has better resolutions for uh, RAID, uh, even though I find the H55 plenty sufficient. Um, but it has better support. Um, you can go for two graphic cards if you wish to, even though in my opinion that ruins the purpose of um, of having a HTPC. Um, the noise, as I printed out in the very beginning, is very low for such a configuration. And the main feature, which has been a lot of focus, especially the last weeks of the competition from Gigabyte, has been on power efficiency. Um, I don't know if you realized, but when I showed you the computer before, you only noticed a very few components. And that is in fact because there only is a very few components. Even the storage that uh, I use if, if for more data such as the HD movies, the Blu-ray that I've ripped from uh, my Blu-ray discs to the computer because I don't want to hear the noise of the media spinning around. Um, so I've done that and I've put that on a little 2.5 inch um, external hard drive which also is on the HTPC. I have disconnected this even though it only uses around 1 watt in, in idle. I've also disconnected the USB um, <coughs> DVD Blu-ray drive. So basically it has only the very limited that you need. It has only one fan, it uses extremely little power. Um, and for today I'm going to show you the monitor as well, just to reveal how much power it actually delivers. So first confusing you, you'll see a bit of the video up here, minimize that. <clears throat> so I've prepared a little, I've opened a bit of programs in advance, and my little note here for <laughs> which, I'm, which topics I wish to discuss. <clears throat> Easy tune up here for seeing the voltage, you see here, only uses 1.04 when being in idle. Um, we have some other programs here, here is CPU tweaker, indicates a lot about the speed, um, which is not completely true at the moment, because this is in a power saving state, where the frequency is only 1500 MHz. Over here we have CPU-C, uh, SuperPi, sorry. Um, and let's just run 1M, which is a fast test, so let's go. 
frequency see, just increased to almost 4.2 gigahertz. The volt came up a bit, temperature is still low, 55 degrees at maximum, and it gets a quite decent time. Um, a bit high, of course, because there's being run a uh, video in, in HD at the moment. So the time is around, let's see here, around 12 seconds likely. Which is definitely not bad, especially not for an HD PC. So all in all, in the platform with the H57M delivers an awful lot of power. In my opinion, the small size factor makes it quite um, appealing. I have it done in open air, almost in Lian Li test bench in my living room. So <laughs> I definitely think it's it's a stylish solution, and then um, I definitely suggest everyone to go for this solution based on the Clarkdale uh, over the solution from AMD. Because basically, unless you plan to just stick with what is modern now, you you really want the Clark deal because already with full HD which is 1080p you have trouble with the AMD solution for HD PC so kind of ruins the purpose in my opinion but this solution very very power efficient and very fast so definitely I'd say it's a really good solution and you can definitely get a really really good configuration for 400 euro including solid state I'd definitely say Go for it.